Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ. Today we're gonna to talk about seven different ways that you can rig a Cinco to catch a lot more bass. Check it out. So before we get started, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And guys, go check out columbusbarrelco.com. You're gonna find something really, really cool there. Use the coupon code BASS25 and get 25% off. So probably one of the first ways that I'm going to fish a Cinco, probably one of the most popular ways to fish a Cinco is the good old wacky rig. Now a wacky rig just straight catches them. You look at guys like John Cox and David Dudley, they fish a lot of wacky worms all over the country and they catch them everywhere whether it's big fish lakes like chickamauga or lakes that are not known for big fish you're going to catch them on a wacky rig and when a wacky rig falls it really just has this awesome action right it just kind of quivers down and that those bass literally cannot stand that little wiggle on both ends as it's going down and about 90 95 percent of the bites that you get are going to come when that bait is just falling and the awesome thing about a wacky rig is that it skips extremely well. Like if people ever ask me like, how do you skip a lure? Like I tell them, hey, start with a, a weightless wacky rig like this uh, with a Cinco on it because it skips like the best rock that you've ever skipped in your life, right? You can skip it way up underneath of a dock. You can skip it under overhanging trees. You can skip this bait anywhere. And being able to get a bait, being able to get a lure somewhere where maybe a lot of other people can't get their lures is really gonna be the difference between getting a couple of bites and really catching a lot of fish. And that's what's so awesome about a wacky rig. It works when fishing is tough. It works when fishing is good. It just works. So number one way to rig a Cinco is the good old wacky rig. And it's really easy to do, which is even the better thing, right? You just take your five or six inch bait you take a hook, it can really just be a, 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 a standard hook. This is a, a, a Trocar weedless wacky hook, right? Like it's made for this. And I like to have these two little weed guards on there just to help it be a little bit more weedless when you're bringing it around docks or bringing it around brush. And literally you're just gonna try to find about the center of that bait. It's okay if it's a little bit off, right? Really, you're just gonna wanna throw it in the water, kinda see what the wiggle, what the shimmy looks like, and if it does what it needs to do, then you're gonna be fine. So really, just try to find the center of that bait and literally just go straight through the bait and straight out the other side, right? You're gonna wanna leave the hook exposed. See how that's exposed? That's good, that's what you want. It comes through everything really good and it catches a lot of bass. So number one, the wacky rig. The second way you want to rig a Cinco is the good old standard Texas rig. And I'm telling you what, the Texas rig worm is one of the most fish catching machines that there is on the planet, right? This is honestly probably one of the most weedless setups that you can fish, period. No matter what kind of lure it is, you're going to be able to put this into more areas, whether it's brush, whether it's thick vegetation, Whatever it may be, you're gonna be able to put a Texas rigged worm, a Texas rigged Cinco, literally into anywhere. And the good thing about it is you can fish it with a weight like I have here, or you can fish it weightless. You can fish it like, a, like you would a wacky worm, but instead now you're using a worm that's completely weedless and it's going to come through cover even better. So sometimes if you're fishing a, you know, a weightless worm shallow, maybe in a lot of brush, it might be a better idea to do it like this, Texas rigged, instead of the wacky version. So, but the thing is, is you can also fish it with the weight like this. You can put a real big weight on here. You're gonna be able to punch it through mats and things like that. Or you can just fish it like this. You can fish it offshore. You can really fish this bait anywhere from 30 foot to th three inches of water. You're gonna be able to get a Texas rig bait anywhere. And the to actually rig up a Texas rig, for those who don't know, it's quite simple, right? So you have your worm here, you have your hook here, right? This hook is, uh, it's not an extra wide gap, but it is a worm style hook that has a little crook right there in it. And basically you're gonna take your hook, go right directly in the top, just like so, 
and go in about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more, and come back out just like that. Pull that worm all the way to the little crook in it and then twist the bait around, twi or sorry, twist the hook around, and then you're gonna actually go back. You're gonna take this hook back into the worm. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go right back into the worm like so, and I'm actually not even gonna come all the way through it. You know, on some EWG style hooks, you can come all the way through and then tech expose, you can kind of skin hook it. I prefer to fish it this way. Um, you know, it doesn't take a lot of pressure from a bass. Sometimes I'll make a little bit of a hole, uh, but it, it doesn't take a lot of pressure from a bass to bite onto that. You set the hook and that, that bait, that hook's coming straight through just like that. It's coming straight through into the fish's mouth and you got them. So number two, Texas rig is a fantastic way to fish a Cinco, basically shallow, deep, wherever. So another neat trick that you can do with a Cinco is a lot of us will use Cinco's, we'll wacky rig them, we'll do whatever with them. And then we just, when they're used up, you know, you catch some fish on them, they get all beat up, you just throw them in the bottom of your boat or on the shoreline or whatever it may be, you throw them away. But what you can do, is take that uh, used worm and simply cut it right in half, just like that, and guess what you got now? A Ned, a Ned rig. Who doesn't like Ned rigs? Said no one ever, right? So you take your Ned head and you do the same thing you do with all your Ned heads and you go ahead and you just slide that on there and now you have a freaking turd, which for whatever reason, catches a ton of bass no matter where you are. Again, this is literally smallmouth candy. They love it to pieces. I don't know why. Largemouth love this. Spotted bass love the Ned Rig. It literally looks like a turd. Like that, that is a turd, but it catches bass like crazy. This is probably the number one finesse technique that there's been over the last two years. Um, and it, it just straight catches a lot of fish. Um, like I said, definitely, I mean, it's a killer for giant smallmouth. And so instead of throwing that old Cinco away, cut it in half, and now you got not only one, but you got two different Ned rigs that you can use with the same Cinco. So you wanna talk about saving a little money, cut that Cinco in half, and now you have a Ned rig. It's gonna work just about the same as, you know, uh, a lot of other Ned rigs, you know, a Cinco is pretty heavy. This is the only thing that might be different. A Cinco has salt and sand inside of it. And so it might lay a little bit more on the bottom, um, but you're still gonna be able to catch fish on it. Uh, maybe not as good as one of like the Z-Man products, but hey, you know what? It's, you're able to use um, some used plastics and, and keep on fishing them and it's going to catch fish. So a Ned Rick, who doesn't love it? No one, everyone loves it. Well, no, that's not true. A lot of people hate the thing, but it straight catches fish. So another reason or another technique, tactic rig you can do with your Cinco, the Ned Rig. So yet another awesome way to rig a Cinco style bake. Another way to rig it is a Nico rig, right? A Nico rig is another one of these finesse uh, tactics that has become popular uh, over the last like three to four years. And it's become very popular, right? And a lot of guys will actually use like a more slender worm, uh, maybe like a trick worm uh, with this type of presentation, but using a Cinco style uh, bait, again, works really, really well. Um, and it also works best if you have, actually the only, about the only way to throw it is with an O-ring. Let me find one. All right, found me an O-ring, right? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put this little O-ring right here on your Cinco, right? So use this little O-ring tool. You basically thread the O-ring up on one side like so. You're gonna stick your Cinco and or Sticko or Yum Dinger, whatever you wanna use in the other side. And then just kind of work this O-ring to the end. Pop it on, there you go. You can see that that O-ring is now on that worm. And this is the first step to rigging a Nico rig. Second thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a weight, uh, a nail weight, um, or this type of weight, they actually make them specific for Nico rigging now, um, and just stick this in the fat end of your worm. I call it kind of the head of the worm. You have this pointy side here, and then you have the fat end. I'm gonna stick that weight in that 
fat end of the worm and work it all the way down. Um, a lot of times I'll use a dab of glue, um, again, to put that weight in there just so that it stays in there when you're whipping around and casting around all over the place. So now you got a weight in there, you got your O-ring on, and then you're gonna take a Nico style hook or whatever really you wanna use. You can use kind of a wacky hook, but this is, this is a VMC Nico hook. Um, it's specifically made for this. It works really well. I like it. I'm gonna use it. And real important here, here's the weight, here's the end of the tail, right? You're gonna take this uh, hook and you're actually gonna go through the O-ring and up towards the tail, just like that. That is a Nico rig, right? So the way that this bait works, you cast it out, bam, this thing hits on the bottom. And as you're working the end across the bottom, this tail is just gonna be quivering and doing all kinds of awesome stuff. When a bass eats it off the bottom, that hook is pointed upwards, right? So when you set the hook, a lot of times, because that hook is pointed towards the tail, it's gonna go into the roof of the fish's mouth, which is much better than going into the tongue or anywhere down low where it could really bleed. Um, so that's the Nico rig. Again, an awesome way to rig a Cinco. All right, another awesome way. Oh, daggummit, Ty. Another awesome way to rig a Cinco style bait is the ball and chain, the Carolina rig. This is a great Carolina rig bait. A lot of people when they're fishing a Carolina rig, they're gonna fish, uh, you know, crawl style baits or lizard style baits or like uh, hog style baits. But a Cinco is a fantastic bait behind a, behind a Carolina rig. And the reason that I think that it works so well is that a lot of people don't throw it. So because a lot of people don't throw it, it's something a little bit different. You're still able to fish that bait weightless, but you're able to fish it now a lot deeper. So you I mean you can add a, a one ounce weight, a three quarter ounce weight, however big a weight you want to get it deep. And then behind that rig, you have your Cinco. This is a pretty short leader here. I did it just for the fact that I'm shooting this video. Um, and I wanted to make sure you saw the whole rig. Um, I typically like like a three foot long leader on this rig. Um, that's gonna work really, really well for a lot of situations. Some people use really, really long leaders. I'm, I mean, I'm talking six, seven foot where they really gotta cast it like, like casting it is its own like deal because you'll hook yourself right in the butt if you don't cast it right. Anyways, what I was saying is a Cinco is a really good bait to use on a Carolina rig. It's really good for big fish too. You know, if you take this, this is a five and a half inch bait that I have on here, but if you use a, a bigger Cinco, like a six or seven inch bait, um, you ask some boys down in Texas, they know all about fishing a big plastic, like a big Cinco on a Carolina rig. And it catches some big, big fish doing it that way. So another way to, to fish a Cinco is a Carolina rig. Uh, real quick, what a Carolina rig consists of is basically a big weight. Um, usually gonna use, like I said, three quarter ounce, one ounce, maybe a little bit heavier. Next behind that, you're going to have a bead, right? And this bead has two purposes. One, it helps protect the knot um, against that big weight and also Okay, I thought that would have been a little bit better. It adds a little bit of sound though, right? As that, as that weight hits into that bead as you're dragging across the bottom, it just makes a little bit of noise down there, kind of like a, a crawfish screwing across the bottom. Um, so that's what the bead's purposes is, purpose is. Then you have your swivel. And then again, a, a one foot to eight foot, seven foot leader. I like a three foot leader with a weightless worm on the end, your Cinco. So another awesome way to fish and rig a Cinco is a Carolina rig. Another awesome way to rig a Cinco is with just your standard shaky head weight. And a lot of people fish shaky heads with, again, kind of a more like slender style worm. Um, but a Cinco is a great bait um, again, to use with your shaky head. And you're gonna rig it the same way. You're gonna just go in through the top about a, about a quarter inch or so, pull that, pull that uh, 
bait over the little keeper there and then put it back into the worm like so. And that's gonna give you a nice straight presentation. Um, this is a really great way to catch bass that are pretty highly pressured. And you can fish this way, you can fish this uh, shaky head style bait with spinning tackle, um, but you can also throw it with bait cast tackle. Um, you know, a, a former Elite Series, now he's on the MLF, uh, pro Keith Poche, like this is his deal. Like he swears by a Cinco with a, uh, looks like a ball head jig, like on a shaky head like this. And he throws it on a bait cast equipment and he'll throw it in areas where a lot of people are throwing jigs or spinner baits. Uh, but he'll throw this and he is able to get a lot of bites with it. So another awesome way to rig a Cinco style lure is your good old shaky head. Oh, oh, that's salty. All right, guys, last but certainly, certainly not least, um, a way to fish at Cinco <clears throat> is with a drop shot rig, right? This is a fantastic, fantastic way to catch smallmouth. Um, with this rig, I like to use a little bit of a smaller Cinco, more like a three or four inch size. And you can rig it um, like a Texas rig. I like to rig it, rig it wacky style um, a lot too, and with your drop shot. And that works really, really good for smallmouth. It kind of does the same thing it does uh, in shallow water, but you're doing it in, 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 in deeper water, right? So if you say, for instance, you're fishing vertical and you see a smallmouth, you drop that bait right down to it. Well, when that bait hits the, that weight's going to hit the, the ground. But, and now all of a sudden you just see this bait slowly going to the bottom, doing its little shimmy shimmy. And if a smallmouth is right there, it's going to get it. So it's a great way to catch not only smallmouth, but largemouth as well. They really respond well to a Cinco rigged up on a drop shot. So last but not least, those are the seven ways that I think you can rig a Cinco. There's probably a lot more ways to do it. For me, I like to do even more things with the Cinco. I like to put Cincos on the back of chatterbaits. They work really well. They skip really well as well. You can also use it on your hair jigs. Um, for like a little bit of weight. You know, if you take the just the end of this, for instance, and you put that on a hair jig, you can actually use that to, to kind of bulk up that hair jig, give it more weight to be able to cast it further. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.